When I was a kid, I would spend hours in my dad's workshop. It was like one big playground for a kid. It kind of was like a natural progression to go from his workshop in the garage to uh, my studio working with paper sculpture because I'm still working with my hands, still working with some of the basic tools that I used that were his. They have a certain kind of energy to it that I, I can't explain it, but that just only comes through, through usage. And when I do need them, they're there and they still work like they did 60 years ago. In the beginning, everything looks like an explosion in a puzzle factory. And uh, I'm gonna have thousands of little pieces here and there and nothing really seems to come together until towards the end. But that's when you can start to see things take shape, take form, become something that's recognizable. just right. It really bothers me, so paying attention to detail is something that's very important to me and, and it's something very personal, knowing that I've done something that I can be proud of. Paper has an energy of its own. One of my favorite sayings, and I'm not quite sure who said it, you know, within this block of marble, it, there already exists the sculpture. All I'm doing is releasing it. I kind of like to think that what I'm doing is taking these flat sheets of paper and basically releasing this thing that already exists. And I'm just the one that's just translating this from one life form to another. As I see a challenge coming nearer to completion, there is a renewed energy that goes into the piece because you start seeing, oh yeah, that looks like an oil derrick, or that, that looks like a, a pylon, or that's beginning to look like a person, you know, a human being.
breathed so much life into this thing to see it go so quickly is, is actually quite frightening. It, it just shows you how precious life is and, and how in a blink of an eye, in an instant, you could lose everything.